The Supreme Court in the British territory of Gibraltar agreeing today to release a seized Iranian oil tanker despite the U.S. trying to intervene at the last minute. Uh, joining me now is Heritage Foundation's retired Lieutenant Colonel Dakota Wood. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, this tanker was seized originally because the Brits believed it was trying to deliver oil to Syria in violation of EU sanctions. So my question to you is, was it a mistake to release the tanker? Uh, no, I mean, uh, you know, Gibraltar, uh, Great Britain uh, in total is a law-abiding nation, law-abiding um, uh, uh, region, uh, you know, to include Gibraltar. So they had clear, compelling evidence that this tanker was carrying uh, Iranian uh, oil mm -hmm. to Syria in violation of EU sanctions. And once they had assurances that uh, the destination would be uh, changed to a non-sanctioned country, they really didn't have a legal basis to hold it any longer. And they held it for six weeks as it is. So uh, they ruled that uh, it should be allowed to continue on its way and took action. I think it uh, is representative of what law-abiding countries do as opposed to what Iran does. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just have to take it on faith that they won't find a way to get it to Syria. But they also, the Iranians, uh, they have also seized a British flag tanker and they still have that tanker, correct? They do, yes. They have not yet released it. And, and I think, I'm, I'm presuming this, that this is probably a good faith gesture on the, on the part of the Brits to secure the release of the tanker being held mm. by Iran. So it's a moral high ground, legal high ground, and it puts them in a much better uh, negotiating position. Of course, the U.S. and the British and others have really stepped up their military presence in the Gulf, especially in the Strait of Hormuz. Do you think that will help bring down the level of uh, interruptions we've seen with these tankers? Well, the military presence uh, certainly will help bring that down. I mean, the Iranian mm. uh, IRGC uh, naval components uh, won't sally out to try to get another tanker if it's being overseen by these uh, naval forces. So whether or not the Gibraltar release helps ease those tensions remains to be seen. Very quickly, on a completely different subject, that explosion in Russia last week, uh, reports there was a spike in radiation immediately after the explosion. It was 16 times higher than that would be considered normal. Uh, it took mm -hmm. three days for Russia to acknowledge this, which is pretty standard operating procedure for them. But again, a lack of transparency. How concerning is this? Well, I mean, the lack of transparency, your, your very point, is the most concerning part. So when Russia does say something, Putin or Moscow, who can believe what they say? Because, you know, they mm. really play up the propaganda aspect, the obfuscation, you know, of all the, uh, the questions that come along with that. So uh, we can respond better when we know the facts of the matter. Russia doesn't uh, play with the facts, uh, and they uh, usually issue in propaganda lies, and right. it really causes these kinds of questions. Yeah. It's always very worrying. Thank you so much. We're already out of time. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Dakota Wood, thank you so much, sir, for joining us. We appreciate it.